Oh, goodness. The biggest news that always seems to be so critical to talk about seems to happen on Wednesday when I'm busy. Yesterday, October 10th of this beautiful 2018, we got probably some of the saddest news ever for Galaxy of Heroes and probably the deepest we've ever seen pay-to-play content get and that is finding out the requirements for Jedi Revan. His event's being rolled out in a, in a hero's journey type event. You guys probably already saw the post. You guys saw many videos. I'm not going to read posts to you right now. We have to talk a lot about my opinion on this because, my goodness, I've never seen this before. This is definitely some new uncharted territory we're getting in. And a lot of you guys want my opinion. And I sat back yesterday after I learned about the news, went to my doctor's room and had school. I decided to turn off the game see my girlfriend and just kind of relax and i put out some polls out there which by the way thank you guys so much for filling out the poll and leaving your comments on my uh, community channel page i opened up the poll we have like 14,000 votes from you guys we have almost 900 comments from you guys i love freedom of speech and i'm glad you guys are able to talk in an unfiltered manner besides youtube filtering you guys for some reason <laughs> let's just start off by looking at my own account older public we're gonna need about seven stars for a Jedi Revan, and my goodness, I already got a, a couple complaints, and I, 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 I understand to an extent why this event is structured the way it is, but my goodness, these characters just became farmable. In September, Bastion Jolie became farmable in, uh, in, in uh, early September, like September 12th, I believe, if my memory is correct here. And yes, not farming Jolie right away was definitely part of my fault. There's too many hard nodes to farm, and a lot of us didn't expect a revenue of any sort to turn up until maybe next year, February. That was the goal for many people, but pushing a legendary, our hero's journey event, this close to a marquee release is something we've never seen before, and Jedi Revan. He's pretty much a mega marquee character. You're going to need five of these characters, which aren't easy to get. For a lot of people, we aren't going to get Jedi Revan this time. I've already settled with that fact. A lot of you guys need to settle with that fact. And uh, it's just, man, it's just crazy. Now, overall, this is going to be a pay-to-play event. There is no way around this. I mean, looking at your comments, you guys are calling it a money grab, cash grab, pay-to-play. I mean, it's pretty much true. I mean, there are some few exceptions. I, I found very far and in-between people who decided once they saw these Revan characters back in July, they decided to just stockpile on crystals, stop refreshing anything. So they had like 30, 40,000 crystals, whatever the case may be, making number one in Fleet Arena and Squad Arena. Then once they dropped in September, then they used all those reserves to farm these characters. And for the most part, that's not a healthy farming strategy. But in this case, it did pay off because this event is being brought too way too soon. Now, I'm going to leave a link down below in the comments if you guys are curious. I showed this last time when Jedi Training Raid came around. There's a website that it's really helpful. You type in how many stars you need. We're going to need seven stars. Uh, the event for Jedi Revan starts in seven days, not eight days like I input it. And then you can put how many stars you currently have, how many shards do you have going towards the next star. And you can ask it, should I panic? And pretty much for me, I, I'm screwed. A lot of you guys are going to be screwed. I got a panic panic and pretty much for the potential, potential of being able to get Revan, I need to drop 4,216 plus crystals per day between now and whenever the event rolls out to even try to get Revan. And this doesn't even include how hard am I going to have to gear up these characters because these characters, who knows, is this going to be a Chewbacca type event where you need gear 11, gear 12 characters with Zetas? I don't know. Now, before I start going on and on and on about my thoughts, I want to talk about your guys' voice first because that, in my opinion, is the most important. And I want to thank you guys so much for left you, your feedback over on Discord, who left your feedback, especially on, the, on my YouTube page, the, your Twitter, yada, yada, yada. But mainly, I want to take a look at this survey I opened up on my YouTube page. Now, of course, this survey isn't representative of the whole entire gaming community, might not even be representative, technically, of my subscriber base, but 14,000 votes is something that can't be ignored. That's a lot of voices talking here. And I like opening up these things because I know the forums you get censored sometimes you might get blocked yada 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 but let's look at what you guys are talking about because there's a lot of valuable feedback in here I asked you guys how are you feeling regarding the rollout procedure for Revan and here we have 10% of these uh, 14,000 people saying that they're happy with uh, how this is being rolled out we'll talk about that in a second and the overwhelming majority here 75% of you guys that voted said that you're upset with how Revan is being rolled out we kind of already touched upon it why it's very upsetting and 15% of you guys don't care and I also want to talk about that because I kind of align with don't care and upset I, I don't feel happy I don't feel happy how this is being rolled out but I'm definitely in between I don't care and uh, I'm, I'm upset with how this is being rolled out how am I supposed to seven star five tunes that just became farmable that this is made for extreme whales they gave us 10 days after they made his panic far bounty hunters another complaint that I have that might be in here I just I couldn't quite see it is that 
a lot of us aren't getting ribbon. That's a fact of life. When We don't know when this event will come back. Two, three months if we're lucky, maybe six months at the very most. And the problem is, I'm sure he's going to be relevant in that time, but probably the most relevant period is going to be during this period when people don't have Revan. Because if you have Revan, you're going to probably have a good chance of having a great defensive wall in Territory Wars. You might have a huge advantage in Arena. I haven't tested out Revan yet, so I can't quite say, but hopefully at least things like Darth Treya is a perfect counter to Revan, and that still will keep you relevant in Arena. But then with Don't Care, which is why I kind of aligned with Don't Care a little bit, I want to point out this comment by Neji. It says, I now have a very stress-free farm. No chance to get 7-star unlocked. I can take my time, wait for round 2, and not spend a dime, and that's exactly where I am. I'll easily have them ready in 4 to 6 months. I was ready to drop some cash for this, as I'm a Dolphin, but no need to. Capital Games made it easy, actually. It would be nice to have a 5-star unlock cover, so right now, I fall under, don't care. Can't get them, so why worry about it? Amen. Maybe not every single piece of content needs to be unlocked on day one. So don't care. I definitely align with something like this. And then we have this point right here. Very good point for someone that spoke out and talked about how they're happy with how Revan is being rolled out. Very thoughtful comment. I want to read this. And uh, it's got a lot of good points here. White Bean says, I saw a good point on the subreddit over a year ago pertaining to how the data card system works, but I think it's relevant here. If you're going to make a whale character, you make him very, very well. This will reduce the amount of people who will actually get him this time to just people willing to spend insane money, making it so most arena shards will only have a few. If he costs much less to acquire it, it would almost be a requirement to spend to still be relevant in arena. Then they kind of go on wishing that it wasn't a, a light side character, but this point has a lot of good points in it if this is a very easily accessible character everyone would have it in arena everyone would have it in territories we don't know how this will affect the meta just that we haven't really seen what's his full potential in arena i'm pretty sure he's gonna be meta defining by and large very very good response i can't read every single one of them but i thank you guys so much for voicing your opinions obviously you guys interact with each other a lot you guys like each other comments you guys looked at everyone's perspective and in times like these it's so important to voice your concerns so hopefully we have some sort of impact in the future and there is another way to, to affect the impact of the future regarding this stuff we'll talk more about that in a few more seconds but overall the reasons to be upset short notice we just had a legendary event not too long ago character that just became free to play literally two four weeks ago and just the lack of communication for an event like this and i also saw people said that this revenue event is kind of like thrawn and i gotta disagree with that because thrawn the characters that were needed even though they were kind of released last second they were on the most free to play accessible things ever squad arena Galactic War, Cantina Table, Super Low Energy, Cantina Shipments. They were so free to play accessible, and myself didn't spend a dime. And the first time Thrawn came around, I got a six star Thrawn. A lot of people got a five star Thrawn. I didn't get seven star Thrawn until the event came way later in the fall. But overall, the Thrawn event was good because you at least got to unlock him at a lower star count. And then with this event right here, it's just it's something completely different. You got to take a Thrawn in the last minute notice and the, the, the Jedi training grave with the difficulty of how getting those cantina farms mush them together and you got the most difficult uh, event ever. And right now this is going to be a pay to play event. But a couple months down the road, whenever it comes again, it'll be free to play at that point. So it sucks we can't get it now. But I kind of want to close off with a few more thoughts here. The first thing I want to talk about is don't let a mobile game like this put you in panic mode because that's kind of how this game is designed they want to make you worry they want to put you at the brink of spending money and if you want to know how much these characters cost just click on the card in the top right hand corner a few weeks ago i showed you what it's like what it's like to buy just a single marquee character and i multiply that by a couple more and that's how revan's gonna be so if you're gonna spend money Make sure you make an educated guess. The next point I want to bring up is that it's not bad that Galaxy of Heroes wants to make money. How they make the money, is that's definitely open for criticism, as we're seeing right now. But it's not bad for the game to make money, and you have to see this revenue event as a mega marquee character right now, which will eventually become free-to-play, kind of like how the cadence is for marquee characters. you got to pay for them, then later on, it's going to take a while, but you'll eventually get the character three, four, five months down the road. And I said in my Django Pack opening video, one reason why people buy these characters is that they can be in the, in this exclusive club to feel like their in, their investment. I kind of use that word very loosely for this type of uh, content. Uh, they want to feel like they're they're getting a lot for the money. They really enjoy the game. They want to be a part of this exclusive club. And if you can afford it, it's not gonna put your family in the ditch. And you really thoroughly enjoy it and believe it's gonna make you happier. 
Go all for it, but all in all, if you can't afford it, don't panic. Don't don't let the game take you over. Don't get overly upset over stuff like this because it's not it's not helping you. Now, I don't know if Capital Games is considering making this a more pleasurable event for people, but if they are, I strongly encourage at the minimum do some double drop events. That's like as minimum as you can possibly get for the week and while the event is running, that's the minimum. I would recommend to at least push this event two weeks or a month down the road. Make it uh, November 18th. That would be awesome. You give more people time to farm these events and characters, but if stakeholders and the developers want to make money on this character, obviously the best time is probably going to be to drop it right away as people are panic farming money and to make sure that those people who bought those marquee packs, they're happy and then they're incentivized to keep buying marquee packs when they come out. So when panic situations like this come up, their investment of buying early pays off. And I don't know if Capital Games is going to consider changing how you can buy shards to get this character. And I don't know if they will do that. There's arguments that if you lower the cost of entry, they're going to make more money. We simply don't have data like that to kind of make that type of analysis. I mean, for example, yes, and, and there are some situations such as comparing Ford and Porsche. Porsche makes the more expensive cars. Ford has the cheaper cars. But overall, Ford has more revenue than Porsche because for every one Porsche that they sell, there's probably 50 Fords that are being selling in its place. It's hard to make that type of analysis in here because sometimes paying a premium makes you more money than something lower. It's kind of hard to find a good example, but look at Apple's revenue. Their revenue is extremely high when you compare it to other companies like Microsoft and Google. Can't really compare it to Samsung because Samsung sells appliances and other stuff aside from just cellular devices and computers. So I don't know if a price drop is gonna make anything better for them because they're looking to make the most money possible. And right now this might be the best way possible. But obviously for us, we want more time. We want better ways to spend money to get this character. And seeing that this is very inaccessible, I just recommend that a lot of you guys don't spend money for nowhere near close to getting this character. But at the end of the day, the thing that speaks numbers is well, giving them the numbers or your money. If you don't approve of this event, just close up your wallet. Don't spend money. Don't even th throw a little bit at it because if you throw a little bit, it shows that, hey, even though they're upset, they're going to give us money. I, all, that 75% of people who said they're upset, I guarantee you there's going to be a portion who will still throw money at this game for the event and might not get the character even after trying to spend money. So that's obviously the best way to have your voices heard and there's nothing wrong with that. Companies work for us. We're the ones, they, they should want to try to get our money somehow, whatever way they think is best. If, if a product's bad, you don't buy the product. If the product's good, you give money to the product so they're incentivized to repeat the same thing before. But right now, when people are buying marquee characters and supporting events like this, it's bound to happen again sometime in the future if something serious happens. Ah, uh, money is king, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, follow the money, as they say. But for me, I'm not going to drop a penny on this event. I, I don't I don't like how this event was kind of structured. I don't like the, this last six, second notice. But again, even with all those things I dislike, I'm not going to overly stress about it. I'm not going to let this game consume me. I'm going to treat Revan as a mega marquee character. Not going to have him now, but a couple months down the road, I'll have these characters ready, and hopefully by round two, I will get Revan. But other than that, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Let's talk a little bit more about this. I urge Capital Games to maybe consider some feedback that I gave all the other game changers, all the other people in the community gave. And I opened up an invitation. If Capital Games wants to have an interview on the channel, I extended the invitation. Haven't gotten any response back, but my channel is always open. If you guys want to talk about that and take the questions that me and the community have as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead, leave me a like, comment down below, and subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And until the next video.